Hello and welcome to our fascinating exploration into the human body's structural marvels. Today, we're delving deep into the world of bones, with a special focus on cortical bone. This incredible part of our anatomy does more than just hold us up. It's a key player in protecting our internal organs and enabling our movements. So, join us as we uncover the secrets of cortical bone and its vital role in our body's complex structure. First, let's understand what cortical bone is. Picture the outer layer of your bones as a dense, hard shell. This is cortical bone, the tough exterior that provides strength and structure to our skeleton. It's like the armor of our body, safeguarding our internal organs and serving as the foundation for muscle attachment. But it's not just about protection. Cortical bone plays a critical role in our mobility and overall skeletal support. Intrigued? Let's dive deeper into this bone's features and functions. Cortical bone stands out due to its density and compact nature. Imagine it as the robust framework of a skyscraper essential for stability and endurance. This type of bone makes up a staggering 80% of our skeleton's weight, predominantly found in the shafts of our long bones like those in our arms and legs, cortical bone is central to our body's structural integrity. It's also present as the protective shell around the spongy bone at our joint ends. The density of cortical bone is what gives our limbs their shape and ability to withstand various stresses. Now, let's compare cortical bone with its counterpart, cancellous bone. Our bones are composed of these two primary types of tissue. While cortical bone forms the dense outer layer, Cancellous bone, also known as spongy bone, is the lighter, more porous interior tissue. It makes up about 20% of our skeleton's weight. Despite their structural differences, cortical and cancellous bone work in tandem, each playing a unique and essential role. This partnership is crucial for our body's functionality, providing both rigidity and flexibility where needed. Let's take a closer look at how cortical and cancellous bone function together, using the thigh bone, or femur, as an example. The femur's upper end contains the spongy tissue of cancellous bone, which acts as a vital shock absorber. This part of the bone provides stability and helps distribute weight and pressure. On the other hand, the shaft of the femur is primarily made of cortical bone tissue. This section is key to resisting bending and handling the stresses of movement particularly in areas susceptible to bending, like the middle of long bones. An often overlooked aspect of bone anatomy is the network of blood vessels and nerves. These essential components weave through both cortical and cancellous bone, providing nourishment and sensation. Picture a bustling city with streets and pathways interconnecting various areas that's similar to how these networks operate within our bones. They are crucial for maintaining bone health and functionality. Surrounding the cortical bone is a vital layer called the periosteum. This dense, fibrous membrane is more than just a covering. It's a critical connector. Here, muscles and tendons anchor themselves to the bone, enabling our every movement. The periosteum also plays a significant role in bone health and repair. It houses tiny blood vessels, known as capillaries, that transport nutrients and oxygen to the bone tissue, ensuring its vitality. Cortical bone tissue comes in two primary forms, lamellar and woven. Lamellar bone is structured in layers, providing exceptional strength and durability. It's formed by parallel fibers, creating a resilient matrix. In contrast, woven bone tissue forms more rapidly, aiding in growth and repair. However, it's not as strong as lamellar bone due to its randomly aligned fibers. Over time, as our bones mature, lamellar bone often replaces woven bone, signifying the dynamic and adaptive nature of our skeletal system. As we conclude our exploration of cortical bone, let's reflect on its incredible role. It's not just a structural element, it's a dynamic and integral part of our body, constantly adapting and responding to our needs. The interplay of cortical and cancellous bone showcases the marvel of human anatomy and the complexity of our skeletal system. So, what are your thoughts on this remarkable structure? Did anything surprise you about cortical bone? We'd love to hear your insights and questions in the comments below. If you found this video informative, 
please give it a like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into human anatomy and other fascinating topics. Stay curious, and we'll see you in our next video.